Hey, y'all. Welcome back. This is Shay. I'm back. I told you I was coming back. I guess you guys didn't believe me, right? So I'm back. I am back, and I just want to uh, briefly show you a quick flip through of my, what is this one? This is the, uh, the Hobonichi Techo Cousin. So um, I switched out the cover. This is just like a, I think this is an Agenda 52 cover that I'm just using to keep everything in. And um, you guys have probably been wondering, well, is she planning? Is she not planning? She hasn't been filming. She hasn't really been on Instagram. But I still have been planning. And I wanted to do a flip through of the months that um, maybe I seemed a little bit uh, distant <laughs> in the planner community. So I'm just going to start from... Um, Let's see. Let me just go ahead and go all the way back to April. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go back to April because I don't even think I've captured some of these pictures on Instagram. And um, yeah, I just want to do that. And I'm not really going to go into all of this stuff on the side pocket. That's going to be something totally different. And um, I'm thinking about adding or changing or doing something. Well, not really changing, but you guys, I already know that I really, really, really like the um, Hobonichis and the Stology. So I'm just trying to really find my permanent, permanent home between, you know, one of one or two, one or two of the planners between them both so i'm just going to do a quick flip and i'm going to bring you guys in so that you can kind of see well maybe not I'll, I'll keep it zoomed out because some of this stuff i don't really want to uh bleep out so um yeah just going to take you page by page so that you can see um basically my planning style how i decorate um you will see in a lot of these um weekly spreads that i do sometimes like to incorporate a doll sticker i love my deco boxes i love using the sidebar to track things and then i basically just have been using the weekly formats in the hobonichi cousin as kind of like my catch-all but then you're going to see later on like back here where i'm trying to flip it and and maybe turn it turn it into like a journaling um page like at a glance and then maybe in the back using like these for more uh detailed plans and you see a couple pages are blank that's going to be and i have sticky notes because i really need to go back and you know back plan but i didn't really i'm still trying to figure it out you guys but i just want to share my uh, journey with you and just kind of let you see how in what directions i'm moving in so um, for this first week of April, you can see it was kind of like a catch-all. I had my priorities at the top, and then I was just kind of using, trying to use the hourly. Um, let me, I'm going to zoom you in just a little bit. Yeah. So you can see I was um, using, trying to use the hourly. Um part of the planner and then at the bottom i was just trying to highlight like a specific daily highlight or something that happened that was um you know either really happy or something that, or something that was kind of like um you know not too happy like on this one i applied for a job and then i didn't get it so i just i just documented that and i i already have a job i've just been kind of you know seeing what else is out there <laughs> but um yeah so bills and things that go on on the weekend the weekend is kind of like blah you know whatever <laughs> so document when my husband was sick some of the errands we ran and then um some of these layouts you'll see there's white space some some of them i've filled up the entire page so second week of april I think this was the week of Easter, and I kind of went with the, the pastel-y kind of vibe here. Um, 
my sidebar quote and then I love using the deco and then the boxes and then um, no school down here that means there was no school for for um, my husband because he is a supervisor um, for the school system so um, I notated that um, just different things and I and this week I really didn't use the hourly layout as well it was just more like I guess it's like I don't want to say memory keeping, but kind of like a weekly tracking um, thing that I'm doing. So this is the third week of April. Once again, I'm incorporating a doll sticker. This is from Versed Planning, whom I used to PR for. I no longer PR for uh, the company, but if you check them out on Instagram, there are many ambassadors and you can use their codes if you're interested in the doll stickers. Um, they do come in different ethnicities. So that doll matched perfectly with the Simply Gilded Washi. Um, the holographic uh, number dots were from, I want to say D.E.K. Designs. Or maybe Sticker Guru. I'm not sure. We, the hourly layout. Um, I mean, my days are pretty much the same. I usually get up, have breakfast, water the plants, go to work. And then that's the end of my day. Because I don't have any little kiddos to look after and to run after anymore. So, I just... Basically, on some spreads, I'm just like scrounging for things to put in which is why i'm also thinking about switching um and going to a different size planner i currently have my eye on an a6 hobonichi so i have an a6 stology but i want to see if the a6 hobonichi uh techo is going to be more my speed because it's a smaller section and as you guys see I really don't have a lot going on and I kind of kept with the same color scheme for the last week of April there's another doll I will throw these in I love them I have so many to use um, so you'll see they're just kind of thrown in sorry for the glare on some of these stickers but this is a Happy Planner sticker. I'm not sure which book. These are from Chris Creates Plans, which her shop is no longer open. Um, she decided to go um, a different avenue and pursue some other things. But this was um, some of the deco that she had available in her shop. This, of course, is from denim paper planes which i used to pr for my term ran out so i no longer pr for her shop but if you're interested in getting the swatches and the, um they're transparent see-through so you can layer them which is what i did here and i usually just document my work schedule birthdays i have trackers on the side um, anytime something is going on, maybe on Instagram that I want to participate in, you see, I have my bills. Um, this day I got a good review from my supervisor, which, um, I got a raise. So I was like, yay. And this is actually a printable sticker from, I think, Crafty Planner Queen. Um, she does her two Tuesday $2 specials. So, and that's the only time you can get like some for printables and yeah and then important things to do for the weekend so that's how i usually use the hobonichi cousin once again keeping up with the um, sidebar here um this was mother's day week so i decided to use some of the florals from live love posh and I, I think it was really pretty. I think it was so pretty that I didn't even want to write anything <laughs> in the spread, as you can see. So it's just basically blank. And and I'm okay with that. I like it. I, I like it just the way it is. But being that this week was mostly blank, I probably did a lot of daily planning. Let's see. Not really. Not too much. <laughs> 
So I either try to plan and and as you, yeah, I either try to really plan in here or really document in the back, which is fine. I'm okay. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure this system out and what's going to work for me. If you have any tips, please feel free to leave them in the comments below on, you know, how you were able to decide which system was better for you. Like I already know I need, I don't need as much space, but I I like the vertical layout. So that's why I'm thinking the the A6 may be for me. And this is the size of what the A6 Hobonichi would be. This is some random, I don't even know where this came from. And it was something I was playing around with a while ago, but this is the size of an A6. So as you can see, It'll be perfect. Okay. This was my anniversary week. My husband and I celebrated five years of marriage. So this was basically the uh, bridal layout. And I just used some fun uh, stickers. Um, these were from... Uh, is it Lovely Ladybug? planner but i don't think that shop is open anymore as well so beautiful beautiful just beautiful deco and and it made me remember our wedding and our cake was very similar to that and you know there's me and my husband hand our hand it's not really our hand, but I found a sticker um, that was very much geared toward us. And it was just um, me just documenting and remembering five years ago when we um, vowed our love to one another. And we are still going strong and we still love each other. And that's just all I wanted to capture in this week. And it's not overly decorated. Um, so, but I'm fine with that. I'm fine. I actually didn't decorate it, but I did put uh, a picture back here at the back, which my husband is camera shy and social media shy. So you will rarely see his face on anything. <laughs> um, this here was, I don't know. It was the week before the 4th of July, and I used a sticker kit and some deco from Denim Paper Planes. All of this here is from Denim Paper Planes, except for this. This is a Happy Planner sticker. And as you can see, I said in the shop, she offers those um, like torn corner pieces. This is actually a sticker. It came that way, and I just layered it. So the sticker is already torn. And then I just added, of course, another doll sticker. I love I love dolls. If I can add it in a planner, in a spread, and it looks good, then I'm going for it. And I basically kept that blank. Um, you guys, like I said, not much going on in my life. Um, first week of, this is, is this July 4th? Okay, so this is May. What am I talking about? I've skipped from April to July. Y'all, this is May going into June. Excuse me. The reason I probably used that was because that was the week that this kit came out. So I was in a rush to use it. So forgive me, forgive me. On this one, I tried to be a little more... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Inclusive, maybe? So I tried to document as much and as much as I could in almost everything that was going on um, from conversations with my son to to some books I had delivered from my mom, from uh, my doctor's appointment, trash day, when um, the 
servers went down at work, the movies, what I was watching on TV, what I was eating. So as you, from this spread, you can see I'm getting a little more comfortable with the layout and I'm trying to make it really, really work for me. And um, yeah, I just started going for it. I was just putting down everything. So I guess it kind of turned into a catch-all planner to a memory planner, it kind of looks like. Yeah, I documented everything. I, even the day that my husband got the credit card bill and he was mad at me <laughs> because I spent like $500 on planner stuff. And he was just like livid. He was like, what in the world are you doing? <laughs> so yeah, so that's why that face is there because that was the face he gave me <laughs> when he saw that bill. So, um, yeah, I was just documenting everything. And so you can see I was getting comfortable uh, with the layout. And this is actually, these stickers were from a printable kit. And I cannot remember um, where it was from. And then this little washi, I think I got from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. You know how the thin washi comes in a big old uh, pack and... It's so, it's so skinny. You get that like um, 15 rolls in one pack. So I was like, oh, that looks really pretty. And I just decided to kind of like divide up the week with that washi. The next week I was feeling the summer vibes. And I was like, yay, yay, yay. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, summer beach and all of that. So, and then this kit had purple. In it, which is my all-time favorite color in the world. So, sidebar still the same. I think, you know, the sidebar is not going to change. I, I'm pretty sure that that's, <laughs> that's going to remain the way that it is. Um, at the top, I used kind of some washi. The washi that came in that kit. This kit was from Lisa Lorraine Plants. And um, pretty beautiful kit. I wish I had a duplicate. Um, I actually ordered it in the Hobonichi Weeks. So I still have a little bit of deco that I can use. Um, but all everything on this page, I believe, was in that kit. Um, as you can see, I kind of used some of the washi in the kit to um, kind of take up some of the space, I guess, so that I wouldn't feel as overwhelmed about filling it in. And then I attempted it again. Um, at the top portion, I put the main priority for the day or the most important thing for that day. And then the middle section was basically my hourly format, which is kind of the same every day not unless there's a, an appointment or somebody coming to the house to fix something or the dogs having to go to the vet and then the bottom i use the deco boxes to take up more space and i kind of like that because i wasn't as overwhelmed with all the space as you can see the prior week before i was just trying to fill up the space this week it was kind of like okay yeah i can deal with this and it doesn't have to be full. That's the one thing I think a lot of people don't realize when you're planning. Your spreads do not have to be full. They just have to be the way that you like to see them. So take that as a word of advice. Um, I know we're always comparing ourselves to the next person. Do what makes you happy. If it doesn't make you happy, don't do it. And that's what... I'm doing and I'm finding my own planner piece and my own planner style and it's okay with me. Once again, I threw in a doll. A lot of people don't like dolls. Okay, so what? But I like them <laughs> and they're going to go in my planner whenever I get a moment to put them down. So this week, I kind of, this is the second week of June, so I kind of uh, piggybacked off the week before that and used some washi to kind of eliminate some of that white space threw in um you know uh what is this the torn washi strip i'm trying to think of where this came from where did this kit i think this was a tailor-made creative co kit yes the doll came in the kit everything on this page is from that kit tailor-made creative co 
check out the shop wonderful wonderful foil uh sticker kits uh functionals scripts whatever a very good shop and i highly highly recommend um i used to pr for her i am desperately trying to get back on her pr team um i had to step back you know just because life got overwhelming but this is the one shot that I highly, highly recommend. Um, yeah, just go check it out. You you will be very, very happy. And I'm pretty sure you'll find something that you'll like in the shop. So once again, I just kind of did what made me happy. Okay last um yeah almost the last week of june so i was getting you know i was getting into the summer vibes again threw in some deco some pretty flowers uh, a girl chilling in her bathing suit some beach uh relaxation scenery here that's because that's where my mind was i was wanting to be at the beach i was wanting to be away i was wanting to be you know near the water um, but unfortunately, you know, life happens and you've got to work. <laughs> so, yeah. And here again, I did something different with the sidebar. This week I was put on an antibiotic. So instead of using the tracker here, I put it on the sidebar and it didn't, this particular tracker did not fit horizontally. So I just turned it vertically and then I put some stickers around it. So, just because you may have another sticker a kit from another type of planner, don't think you can't use them. Make them work for you. Um, some things that I wanted to buy, so I wrote them down um, because I was going through some things with my allergies. My husband bought me a... A nice air purifier and it is doing amazing for my allergies and for my nasal issues and I'm off of the antibiotic and um, yeah everything's going good and let's see this was the week of the fourth or leading up to the fourth so look I just I just went full deco, guys. I, <laughs> I threw in everything. I mean, everything. There was kind of like a lot of stuff kind of going on, but not really going on. Uh, this was one of the favorite, one of my little favorite stickers. I don't know where this came from, but here it says, missing my motivation. And that's what was going on. By Thursday at the end of the week, I was just like, wait, I'm ready for the weekend. I'm ready for the holiday. I'm just, I'm ready. I'm over it. And um, we went to see the fireworks that weekend. I took time out to do my hair. Um, you know, we booked our vacation and it was just a lot of um happiness and and things so yeah my trackers here um i used some of the foil from eslo planning i do get their bundles get her bundle excuse me so um i threw that in there this from denim paper planes of course the coffee monsters co i believe that was uh the week that i got the washi this is so far this is the only washi that i have and i am holding on to it for dear life <laughs> but i did place another order so um we'll see i'll let you in on that when it comes this beautiful beautiful kit was from dek designs oh my gosh the foil, oh, oh, I just, I love it. And this clip also came with the kit. I think this kit was from one of her um, 
special order days. I think it's Tuesday or Wednesday. If you order on that day and you purchase so much, she throws in like a, um, a special kit that she's designed for that day. And I think this was the kit. And, oh gosh, it just kind of puts me in the mind of strawberry shortcake. I may be telling my age here, but for those of you that remember um, the the doll, the strawberry shortcake doll and the, you know, her friends or whatever, this, this kit reminded me so much of that. And I think I also did this this um did this layout for a planner challenge over on Instagram by um Ashley Vac Vasquez uh for planner A to Z planning. Yes, A to Z planning. So she has some good challenges if you're up for the challenge and you want to participate, what you do is you just design a spread based on her theme and she puts the themes for the entire month usually at the beginning of the month or the end of the month for the next month so if you um are running out of ideas and need some inspiration you know check out her page check out her challenges there are tons of other challenges out there on instagram but she really 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 puts um a lot of thought into the challenges and you know it's just amazing to see the interpretation from all the other planners on Instagram because some people go in a totally different direction but it fits the theme and that's what I like about that so uh yeah a lot of things going on this week I tracked my dinners not that I really needed to but I was like well maybe I need to kind of see um what I'm eating you know, as you grow older, you become more health conscious. You know, when I was like 20 something, I didn't care what I ate. But <laughs> now that I'm approaching uh, 50, I'm trying to really uh, take better care of myself. So, yeah, fun things going on here. Let me keep going. And this is the, this was last week. This was last week. So here we are at this week. As you can see, I was like, okay, I think I've kind of got down, you know, filling out the spread full blown on deco. So now I've gotten to the point where let me just try to do the journal method. So you guys, I'm I'm finding out what I like and what I don't like. And it's too early for me to know if this is what I like. But I like that it appears full and that I'm not wasting any of the space, which is okay if I do. But um, if I'm going to use this and keep this and look back on it, um, this would be a good reflection of how I was feeling during the day, what was going on, what I did during the day. As you can see, I um, ordered... The, the Hobonichi A6. And there goes my no spin. And I have been desperately trying to stick to it. I was so good. There was um, a planner sale on Instagram. And I, I wanted to buy. I wanted to buy. But then I was like, oh gosh, I have so many stickers that I need to use up. So I was like, well, if I'm going to buy anything, I'm going to buy me a smaller size planner. <laughs> and that's what I did. You guys, I have plenty of planners. I really didn't need to buy it. But it was just something tugging on my heartstrings. And I just bought it. And I told my husband and he was like, okay, don't buy anything else. So I love him. <laughs> I love him <laughs> so much. Not because, you know, he, he lets me buy stickers, but because I, I really love him. He's a good, good man. And so we are here. Today is Friday. Um, so today's payday and I'm trying to kind of cover that because usually on paydays I s start sticker shopping. So, um, yeah, but I said nothing, just chilling. So I'm about to make a shopping list here because I'm pretty sure 